I mean, unfortunately, people often talk about cancer as if it affects other people, but not them. And I've seen too many cases in the UK and elsewhere where I work where people come and often are in advanced stages of the illness rather than coming forward at the beginning when they were worried and getting screening. So I would urge people in Gibraltar, if in doubt, if you find a lump, if you find a bump, if you feel there's something wrong, go and see your GP, explain to the GP what's wrong, ask for assessment, ask for screening, because the sooner we get it, the better. Do you know what? So many people nowadays survive cancer. Cancer does not have to be a death sentence. Many people recover, get on with their lives and lead a happy life. But the key is be there, pick up the phone, look for help so we can detect it sooner rather than later. Now, I know you've just got your feet under the desk, yes. but can I ask you about uh, your plans to ensure that this happens because as the Director General of the GHA you have an important role in ensuring that uh, that people get screened early and that people don't get pushed back. Yes. Well just last week I met with some of the charities here particularly the Breast Care Society and they gave me very honest feedback what they think should be happening and I've also been liaising with the clinical director here who's responsible for our oncology services and I'm planning to have a meeting with them within the next two weeks and I really do want to look at the pathway how do people actually get help when they want help how can we make sure that we have the services so we can screen quickly because time is important when you're diagnosed with a cancer so my ambition as DG we'll have a responsive service that responds quickly and that's what I'll be discussing with the clinical director and his team. How can we make it even better than what we're currently doing? Across the GHA we have a number of healthcare professionals um, from our doctor of oncology, we have our clinical nurse specialist, we have our radiologists and allied health professionals all concentrating on a, there's a huge variety of cancers that we know that affect the local population. Anything from breast cancer to colorectal cancer, um, prostate, pancreatic cancer and we work very closely not only with our healthcare professionals in the GHA but with our patients and with the charity groups as well. Well I believe this is a true demonstration of the GHA working in unity to be able to provide the best possible services to all our cancer patients regardless of the part of the journey they're actually in. You mentioned about one day living in a world without cancer. Do you feel that's possible or are we a long way away? As a healthcare worker, I truly believe that is possible because again, like you can see here, we're all joining together towards this very worthy cause and I truly, truly believe that if we all put our heads together to it and with perseverance and dedication, we will one day live in a world without cancer.